Hey, Chris Matthew here. You've seen a lot of my uh, Arduino, Johnny5, Node.js examples uh, for connecting devices, Internet of Things, to Skynet. Um, what's, what's interesting uh, about those is that they're really powerful. You know, you can control all the pins, you can uh, attach sensors, and get streaming data into the Skynet uh, network uh, via a simple API and uh, react or control things uh, accordingly. Um, but the cumbersome part of that is having uh, a Raspberry Pi or a computer or something with a bigger processor that can run Node.js uh, to control the Arduino. So I started thinking, what if you could just uh, build a, a, a Skynet appliance out of just a Raspberry Pi uh, without an Arduino? You know, just kind of experimenting around ideas. It's sure to simplify the deployment. Um, the the uh, Raspberry Pi has a set of uh, GPIO pins uh, very similar to the Arduino, and there's a, a half dozen um, Node.js modules out there. Check out this one from Fibd. Hope I'm saying his name properly, but it's called On Off, and it basically lets you do some some pretty basic uh, Johnny Five like uh, capabilities uh, on on the um, the Raspberry directly controlling the pins. So I created my little standard little uh, LED light. Uh, positive is attached to pin 4 uh, and the ground is on pin 5. Um, this is a self-contained Raspberry Pi. In other words, this thing, uh, I, I'm, I've got a blog on, on exactly how to follow my steps to do this, but it basically will uh, boot. We should see, let me go ahead and plug this in because it takes, takes about a minute to, to boot up. Um, okay, so we've got power here. This thing's going to go ahead and boot up. We should start seeing some uh, Wi-Fi uh, connectivity um, indicators, a blue flashing light. Then ultimately, when it's connected to Skynet, we'll see this LED strobe once, like a, a half a, a half a second uh, strobe, just to let us know it's ready. Um, but that's all pretty cool. Um, uh, it it it's all running off of an SD uh, uh, RAM drive. And uh, it doesn't need any monitor or keyboard attached uh, once you get all this configured. There we go. We've got some um, Wi-Fi. It will find an open Wi-Fi or you can give it uh, uh, your SSID and credentials to attach. So that's all good science booting up. Once it's booted, it will uh, log in uh, to the, um, the user account on here, which is called Pi. We could, uh, oh, do you see that? So now it's all connected to Skynet. Uh, so about a minute to boot up, and now it's listening to Skynet uh, for for uh, data. So remember this um, this little uh, Skynet phone .heroku app .com. Uh, You can go ahead and and turn off and on the light uh, via uh, just sending it messages. So that's pretty cool. We could also do the same. Uh, bear with me for a second. I'll get the uh, my mobile phone. Here we go. We could also uh, let's see. Log in with my mobile app and control it from here too. So now I have I have this uh, this mobile app. I can say on, and now it's on on the screen as well. I can say off, and so now we've got multiple devices all connected to Skynet controlling just a Raspberry Pi Skynet appliance. Uh, I'll have the code posted uh, on, on the GitHub repo and a blog post on how to set this up yourself. All right, have fun.